how to add custom thank you page in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add a custom thank you page for your customers in Shopify. It is very easy and simple to do. All you have to do, as always, follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now, we are on our Shopify store. The first thing that you need to do is to set up your Shopify store. This is the first thing. You have to set up the plan, also the products. So this method will work properly. So how can you accept or expect a customer to see a thank you page without a product and buying something? Now, the most important thing here is to go ahead to the search bar right here. You are going to search an integration called eComposer. I'm going to type eComposer, Composer, Poser, like that. And then I'm going to search for it in the Shopify store. This is the first thing that we need to do. Here I'm going to see this is the e Composer landing page builder. Uh, it is built for Shopify. I am going to install this app. And by the way, it has a very high rating of five stars. Also, it has a free plan available. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going simply to click on install. It will take us to the uh, store page that will, will permit the installation. And with a single click of a button, it will be installed. Right here, I'm going to close this window. And right away, it will be installed. Now I'm going to pin this application or this integration to our menu. Click simply pin to your navigation. Here we have some welcome messages. I'm going to click on next. Here we have choose the theme to work on. We have the themes, we have the dawn refresh sense, and we have the craft, which is the published or the actual theme. I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to click on next. Here, ready to build your first page in eComposer. You are going to select the type of the page that you are going to build. We have landing pages, uh, home, product collection, blogs here. If you don't find a, a welcome page or a thank you page, all you have to do is to click landing and pages. Then you are going to select a template. Right here we have uh, the template, select page. It will be shown up right here. And now we are going to see the selected template. Here it is a blank template. You can go ahead and use a black blank template. Or you can choose one of these complete or preset templates that you can see we have a lot of uh, templates that you can see right here and I'm going to with uh, the blank template I'm going with that then simply click on next here the page style I'm going to name it thank you page thank you page that is the name here I'm going to make these uh, approachable. Thank you, page. Here we have the header and footer show on Shopify theme. I'm going simply to click start building. Right here, it, this is the eComposer builder. It is a very simple template builder or a simple uh, page builder. We have here a drag and drop options. As you can see, we have the sections. Here we have the uh, the uh, explore library trending templates this is not for us here we have these rows and these sections I'm going to delete all of these because I want to create it from scratch and don't want to use anything let's go ahead and add a layout here we have on sections you can add a inner row heading text image button and etc now let's go ahead and add a heading this is the first thing that you need to do as i said before it is a drag and drop menu i'm going to drag the heading right here put it simply in there and here we have it now to modify this all you have to do is to click on the pen tool or you can go ahead and select the text for example i am going to put thank you like that uh, this is not what i wanted to do but it's okay now thank you like that and here we have it 
Thank you. Or this is not what I wanted to uh, create. I don't know why it is persisting these things. Can go ahead and uh, add it right here. Put the uh, right here the the thank you message. Thank you. You can write it right here or, or from this modifier or this editor. Thank you. For example, like that for purchasing. Purchasing from us. Uh, this is the page. I'm going to put it for on bold. Like that. Here I'm going to, you can go ahead and align it. Or it is up to you, for example. Now we have the color, you can choose the color of the text like that. You can go ahead and modify whatever you want. You can also put a link on underneath the text. Here you can use the tool tip. Now this is for the content. For the design, we have the text. For example, you can go ahead and design the text. We have the alignment here. I can go ahead and put it at the center. Here we can choose the typography or you can customize the font and the weight transformation. It, it is a very rich in content. Uh, now I'm going right here to the content. I'm going back. I'm going to add an inner row, for example, like that. This is the inner row. I'm going to add for that a, a button or I'm going to add a gallery. This is the gallery. I'm going to choose the images right here. Click on this, upload some images. Let's see what do we have some image. I'm going to add a image like this. This is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the third one, I suppose. And finally, this is the fourth one. This is just an example to let you see how uh, can we make some thank you page. For example, here I'm going to per like this purchasing. And now uh, we have, for example, a video. You can go ahead and add a video. This is a video presentation from the e composer. Now I'm going to delete that. I don't need it. We have some icons. For example, you can add a icon here can go ahead and put the icon. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want. You can also upload an icon if you if you have a icon already up. And here, for example, the thank you page is here. You can go ahead and put, for example, the resume of the um, the order that the client has. Let's go ahead and put, for example, let's go and choose here, the text, this text, I'm going to choose a text here. Here uh, you can see this is the text. Now we are going to set or put some of the um, countdown. I'm going to put a countdown right here. Uh, this is the countdown, for example. You can put a countdown. This is the layout. This is the countdown start. And this is the show progress bar. It is uh, very customizable. And this is it. Uh, also, we have some options that are uh, specific for uh, Shopify. We have a menu, payment method, product grid, collection. I'm going to add a collection like this for here. It will be loading uh, right here the collection that we have. And you, you will be good to go. This is the collection that we have. For example, you can have two items. And this is it. That was very simple and easy to do. Then when you finish everything, you click on simply on publish. Here you have to uh, make the page visible and click save and publish and you will be good to go. That was very easy and simple to do also. Thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon.